So, um, so what we need to do is we need to, for this problem, they're asking us to use segmentation to write the sum. Um, and what we're given is we're given these, um, the first count of four values into the sum. Well, actually, I'm sorry, this is not commas. This is all the addition, right? So we're adding each one of these terms. So what we know is we're using sigma notation. So we're going to want to write our sigma, all right? And what we're going to do to be able to write the sum is we're going to start at, um, we'll start with our variable. We'll start with i equals 1. All right, and if i equals 1, then we need to determine, well, how many terms are we using? So we're using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can say the terminal term is going to be at 5. All right? Now, so we have 5 sigma i equals 1. Now what I need to do is determine when I plug in a 1, into a rule, how am I going to get 1 fourth? When I plug a 2 into my term, how do I get 3 eighths? When I plug a 3 into 7 6, and when I plug a 3 into our rule, how do I get 7 sixteenths? Right? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is um, a little bit more difficult that we need to start look, looking at this and trying to see what works. There's infinite many possibilities. But there's only going to be one possibility that's going to work for each one of these terms. All right, so the first thing is we know it's a fraction, right? So obviously, let's go ahead and just deal with the numerator and the denominator separately. All right, now the first thing I always like to do is just think of anything just by adding, right? If I plug in 1, I can add 3. Let's just work on the denominator first. To go to 1 to 3, I could add 3, right? Does that work for 2? No, right? So addition is not going to work. Let's look at multiplication. 1 times th um, 4 would give me 4. 2 times 4 gives me 8. But then 3 times 4 does not give me 16, right? So multiplying by 4 is not going to work. Um, and then what you guys can notice is also, and we'll, we'll talk about this a little bit later, um, but we also can't do a multiplication and addition and subtraction combination. And we're going to learn about today why that doesn't work. But we can't do. Multiply by, you know, you could do multiply by three, or multiply by three plus one. But when you multiply by three plus one, that doesn't work here, right? So using what we're gonna, we're, we're gonna talk about today, um, we notice that we can't just use a combination of multiplication and division. So now the next thing I want to look into is maybe squaring. All right, squaring or using powers in some fashion. So obviously I can't take uh, one to a power to give me four, but I could take two and raise it to the third power, and that'd give me eight. Right? But if I take 3 to the first power, that's not going to give me 16. Right? 3 to the third power does not give me 16. But one thing I do notice, ladies and gentlemen, is 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64 are all, um, are all um, <clears throat> answers to your power of base 2. You can all say 2, because look at this is 2 squared. 2 cubed, 2 to the 4th power, 2 to the 5th power, 2 to the 6th power. The problem becomes, if I write i here, when I plug in a 1, that's 2 to the 1st power. So my first term, I need to get 2 squared. Well, with starting at 1, you could say, yeah, you could start at 2. But what we're going to do is we can just write i plus, I'm sorry, not i plus 1, i plus, i plus 2, i plus 1. Does that make sense? All right. Now, let's go and take a look at these problems, these powers. And what we notice is, again, these don't have that same relationship where you can just add and subtract a number or multiply a number and then add and subtract. They're not equally spaced amongst each other, which we're going to talk more about today. But we do know, again, they're very similar. 3 is kind of related to 4. 7 is related to 8. 15 is related to 16. 31 is related to 32. And how are those two related to each other? They're only subtracted by 1, right? 31 is less than 32. 15 is less than 16. So what we notice is if I do 2 to the i, so let's say I did 2 squared, that would give me 4. And then if I subtracted 1, that gives me 3. All right? So it's a lot of just kind of guessing, and checking, and thinking through these types of problems so that you can go and get it. But that is going to be your sum um, for that problem. Okay. Hunter, are you taking this?